Good morning all, Jodie Ellis from Unconventional Cross Stitch here in Western Australia, Perth. I have not done a video like this in months, definitely months. Um, so today we're going to do two videos and the first one will be our interview with the lovely Natalie. Um, she is creator Nat, she does all our awesome ferrets and the steampunk stuff and the cats and the dogs and uh, so all of that stuff. Her work is really, really awesome. I have a Scottish ferret in the works at the moment that should be released soon, so keep your eyes open for that if you're a Natalie fan. So, what I did was I gathered a whole heap of questions from you guys about what you would like to ask Natalie, and you got back to me, and so I have asked those questions and Natalie has answered me. So, let's get started. Our first question was, at what age did you start drawing? Natalie's response was, I started drawing at around five years old. I have always loved it. Five years old. That's quite young, isn't it? I think about that and I have a six and a almost just shy of eight year old and they do a lot of drawing too. But yeah, five years old. That's really cool. Um, so our next question, is art your full time job? If not, what fills the void? Natalie's answer was, I am a full-time artist and when not taking commissions I am creating more art for myself. I am working on something creative every single day because I enjoy it so. That is my favourite answer. Um, you know, because it is a passion and Nat's like myself. Yeah, I work seven days a week, 24 hours a day, but I don't feel like it's work because I'm so passionate and I love it so much that that's what we do. So that's a really cool answer. Like. Art is Nat's life. How cool is that? Um, so, next question. What country do you live in? Nat's answer was, <clears throat> I am from the United States. USA. 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 I won't sing your national anthem because I'm a terrible singer. Um, yeah, so Nat's from Americano. Uh, what inspires you? Nat's response was, so, so much colours, shapes, sometimes I will see buildings and architecture and want to capture elements of that, or the way that light and shadow play in movie scenes, old stories, folk tales, macabre, fantasy, the list evolves and changes as I do. That's cool. I never would have thought about um, buildings or architecture or even the way that lights and shadows are playing in, um, so that's, that's really cool. Next question, how the heck did you get to be so awesome? <laughs> so the, the answer to this one is, I can only attribute that to God. If ever given the honour of such compliments, I do just my very best to be me. Um, so next question, do you have formal art training? Now this one I was very curious about because I don't know this one either about Nat. So the answer to this one is... A handful of hours of art training in college, with far, far more years of teaching myself, painting, illustration, and sculpting technique. So that's a cool answer. And you know what? From my, my end of the spectrum, too, I'm self-taught. And everyone's different. So I think being self-taught, it's sort of harder initially, but you absorb more doing things that way. So there you go. Nat is a self-taught artist, so I definitely take my hat off there. Um, that That's a big thing. So where are we? Well, I'm lost. Who are your idols artistically? Uh, the famous painter John Waterhouse, Alphonse Muchet. I hope I said that right. I am, um, my English is terrible even though it's my one and only language. Um, and many of the illustrators from the 1800s to 1900s, such as Arthur Rackham, to name a few. Again, I apologise if I pronounced all those names wrong. I am hopeless. Forgive me. Um, what else have we got? Where am I? I'm lost. How long do you spend on average on one piece? Natalie's answer is, that actually depends on the complexity and size of the work. For example, an artwork as small as 2.5 by 3.5 inches would take me 4 to 5 hours total work. So that's a lot of work. I mean, I haven't got my... Let's have a look at that. Because I'm a metric girl. So I have to convert everything across. I don't... That's not my inches. That's only got centimeters. Look at me. I'm so well prepared for this. Go me. Um, would you expect anything else of me though? Absolutely not. Alright, so what did 
2.5. So that's about that, 2.5, by 3.5, which is there. So, you know, it might look little, but it's a lot of work. And I think, too, with those smaller ones, it's very fine detail. I think I'd go blind. I think that would be, like, on par with doing, like, a 32 count cross stitch. Woo! Uh, so, where are we? Question. Do you start and finish one work at a time or have multiple projects you work on as your mood fits? The answer was, I am typically working on several pieces at once. I generally prefer this as I am a true lover of variety. That's cool. So, you know, you're always mixing things up. You've always got something new going. Next question. Do you have fave colours you prefer to work with? Answer. Red is my favourite, but I also enjoy greens and aqua. Jewel tones are very fulfilling as well. I like that, fulfilling. Red's my favourite colour too, or one of them, because everybody knows red goes faster. So, what else have we got? Do you cross stitch? The answer is, though I currently do not, I did some light cross stitching in high school. I could see how it would be quite addictive. So that's cool. So Nat has done cross stitch previously. Um, my rabbit is distracting me. Um, yeah, so she has done cross stitch, which is really cool. Uh, a lot of our artists aren't cross stitchers, so you know, this whole world is very new to them, and I introduced them to it through unconventional cross stitch. And I think, you know, I have a deep respect for their work, and that they in return end up with a deep respect for cross stitch because it's so involved and labor intensive. Yeah, I guess to compare say that 2.5 by 3.5 inch work that Nat would create, I could create then a pattern from that. And if we did like, say Octavius was originally drawn that size, you know, I'm at least 100 hours in so far on cross stitching that. So time wise, we spend more time recreating through cross stitch. So anyway, they're all the answers from Natalie. I really hope you enjoy. I do have to pick my favorite question um, to to award a prize. What am I going to pick as my favourite question? Because I wanted to do it as a spur of the moment thing. So, drum roll. Can you hear it? Probably not. I'm going to go with who are your idols artistically. So, if that was your question. Do touch base with me, best to do it through my Etsy store and just send a message and go, that was me, that was my question, woo! And you can claim your prize. So, well done you. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this interview. If you want to see more, let us know. Don't forget to click like and subscribe on the bottom and I'm going to go do my regular spiel now. Take it easy guys, see ya.